So we just made it to the customs and now the funny story is like 10 kind of taxi drivers try to ring us, they all try to set us up. So we're just walking here along this road and every time one passes and tries to uh, be deceiving us, get them into the car, but we keep on walking until we find the best price. We just got stopped here at the highway because a lot of cows appeared here. <laughs> We just arrived here with this elephant like living room and we're just like broken after eleven hours on the on the road today with so many hassles. So I'm gonna go play some kind of game I don't understand. They're all over the place. And this is the Shambe. A lot of trees compared to Uzbekistan. I don't get this game. So we're preparing the National Days Club here for our hostel. Unfortunately, we have to leave. But this smells so good and looks so delicious the way they prepared. And this is how it finally looks like. Doesn't it just look amazing? This is Plop or Pilau. What's up guys? We're gonna do an epic road trip to the Pamirs. We fixed this car. It's a Toyota four-wheel drive and we're gonna spend the next 10 days cruising to the highest roads highway in the world. So one of the sad parts of coming to Tajikistan is that everyone, literally everyone tries to get money from you. It's like even worse than in India. And right now we're like one hour in the car. We've been stopped twice by police. Last one just uh, tried to convince me I drove 20 kilometers too, hot, too fast. While I'm stopped the car here for a short break. You can see the scenery. It's just green, green all over the place. Just amazing. And, and look what we turtle. came across. Make sure of a baby turtle. It's a small turtle. He hide, hit himself. We have officially entered the land of Badakhshan. It's just incredible. Just look at this. I just checked out the car along the road. I mean, look at the scenery. Isn't it just amazing? And best of all, you see the river right there. That's the border between Afghanistan and Tajikistan. So everything behind it, those mountains, is all Afghanistan. Never been so close. This is the road we're driving through and look at the waterfalls above us. This is the road we're driving through. Ah, my wheel's not shit. Sorry, I can't do what the hell? Food, <laughs> Look at the waterfall above us. This is driving through. This is really amazing. I think from here yeah. the Parmi Highway goes to Khorok and yesterday evening got a bit scary now hopefully it's a bit better the sun is shining so we can <laughs> We're still driving along Afghanistan. This is also part of Afghanistan. Women walking around in burqas, and it's sad truth. so sad. 
we, we forgot about it yesterday when we saw kids playing football, but this is also part of Afghanistan. Can't stop getting off this. Look how raw it looks here. We just landed on the moon. Day three of our Pamir road trip. Just something quickly what happened yesterday. A lot of hotels were closed. Uh, some were asking a lot of money. I got chased by a dog about half my size. We found this place. We didn't have dinner like egg and sausages. Now we're off to Ishkashim. Today we're leaving Korog. It's beautiful out here with the blossoms and the mountain views with snow peaks. So I never really understood why Afghan moms hate sand so much, now I do, because look, everything is covered with it, like literally every spot of our bags, every spot on the car, our clothes, I mean our pants, everything. We arrived at Ishkashim and it wasn't a long drive but a lot of stuff happened and the police were very strict, like armed guards like all around us and checking all our papers. We made it to this homestay and this is what we're eating right now. In these homes, as you pay fifteen dollars per person, and including a meal in the evening and breakfast in the morning, and we need the cup of tea because it's pretty cold here. I think five degrees or less. A bit freezing. Good morning. Another day on our epic road trip, and today we're finally at the Wahan Corridor, the Tajik version, and look around us. This looks so epic. Now we decided to skip Australia because we wanted to have a more remote place. And look how remote this place is. It's crazy. It feels like you're on the moon or something. Right now we're at Bibi Fatima Spring. That's a hot spring with warm water coming. And they made it like a spiritual place where women come to pray for children. Do so you see just rough water coming here? And the water is really hot. Hot cold. This looks really magical. So men and women can bathe here separately. Or we're just here to have a look. We're walking up the last steps. This is truly amazing. That's Afghanistan in the back. The long corridor. We made it! Look at the view. I think, I think, this is the best view we've ever seen. It beats New Zealand. Yep. Because, I mean, just look at the mountain in Afghanistan. These are our rooms. As you can see, it's very traditional with all the carpets on the wall. And, I don't know, I think it's a nice experience. Let's see how we sleep tonight. And we won't be woken up by those chickens. This is how our homestay looks from the inside. Small door here in the middle of a Central Asian living room. Look how cool it looks here. Our fifth day on the road. Uh, don't mind my hair, it gets like <laughs> worse every day. I'm not sure why. Because of the climate here or something. But anyway, uh, we're heading back to uh, Dushan Bay. We're gonna arrive there in two days. And that's all for now. These poor folks are stuck in the sand. Farang just went up to ask if they need some help. It's so rough here, it's crazy. Without a four-wheel drive, you probably will get stuck. So we're coming across these cute kids along the way. And we're just taking photos and chatting with them. And they're so adorable. Say hi to the camera. Very nice, we've just been invited by this very uh, lovely old lady with a small little child and uh, we're gonna go in for a for a small for a tea inside that's uh generosity people have here 
They invite always travelers with them. At the Afghan side, and there's been a landslide, I mean, the rocks have fell down, so they're cleaning it up. Not that there is a like, decent road there, but anyway. It's on the road, right? Yes, on the road. Good morning, everyone. Not a bad hair day today. Uh, the last day in the Pamir road trip, going back towards Dushanbe, bringing the car back, and uh, enjoying our last moments here in this beautiful environment. We arrived here in Turtle's Town. Uh, I mean, turtles everywhere, like literally all over the place. And this one is so cute and small. Look at him. Hello, little guy. We're leaving Tajikistan, and the flight has been away like three hours. On our way to Dubai, it's gonna be a stop for the next couple of days and just chill there and enjoy some luxury and everything there.